It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Raiders and the G-Men. And it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. It is a stadium where a different kind of football is more commonly the focus, but today it's all about the NFL as you get a look inside Allianz Arena in the Bavarian city of Munich, Germany. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. The National Football League has come to Germany. We are underway from Munich. And he won't quite make it to the 25. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First and 10 at the 35 yard line. Now Minshew. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. They'll go Madison up the middle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Third and three. Minshew sets to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now Jones. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Well, for the offense, it looked like that drive had the makings of something good. They were starting to hit a groove, but the defense clearly had other ideas, not only to force the turnover, but to handle the scoring themselves. Yeah, no panic in their eyes, was their partner? Think about it this way. A Hall of Fame coach once told me the best characteristic he liked out of his teams was that they didn't flinch. This group, they got pushed back in an early series, kept their composure, and made a big play that swung the momentum their way. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touch 
Touchdown, New York. Darius Slayton, 71 yards. And the Giants are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Gano the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. Here's Minshew. That would complete to Trey Tucker. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Third and two. Looking to throw it. Minshew. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. These two teams all tied after one. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter. From the 35, here's second and nine. As they've got it as we resume action. Throwing Jones. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Now that's absolutely terrific technique right there by the corner. Exhibit A. Zone coverage, knew where his man was in relation to the football at all times, and made a nice play. He'll get this into the hands of the wideout from LSU. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Now a play fake here on first down. And this is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Back to throw. Jones. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Now here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Second and seven from the 20. Off play action, it's Minshew. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. And the 
Here's Madison running on first down, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll set up to throw. Flush to his right. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be third down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Here is third down and four. They'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 39. They'll look to throw. This goes out wide from Madison. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Back to throw now on first down. The pass taken in by Mayer. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. It'll be Minshew again. And Bryant's got it over the middle. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Myers. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Throwing again on second down. Minshew. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Kayvon Thibodeau. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Carlson able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. He's got Slayton on the slam. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. They'll look to throw now on first down. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That's a really good job in execution. They avoided the flag downfield and avoided giving up yardage for free. Really good coverage. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. A final shot before break. Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. We now proceed to the start of the second half. So we are at halftime here in Munich in the NFL International Series. As we send you back across the Atlantic to Orlando, as we say, guten tag to our guys standing by. That's Jonathan Coachman. Coach, and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Darius Slayton and the rest of this offense about to begin their next drive. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. 
They go play action here on first down. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But That's the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense. But this down. one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Looking to throw. Jones. This is caught. It's Robinson with a Giants touchdown. From 21 yards away. And the Giants have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point try good by Gano. And the lead is now 14 to 10. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished up by a touchdown catch from Rondale Robinson. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just saying, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Here's third and six. Out of the gun is Minshew. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. 49-yard punt, five on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and ten. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that, but the rushing game almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And this will be a Giants first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 33 yards that time. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. They'll look to throw here on first down. His throw caught right around the six. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. 
Off the bootleg. Jones. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. Ineligible receiver downfield. Offense. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it, and this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Darius Slayton, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants will add to their fourth quarter lead. And that is off the left upright. It's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And able to get this out to the 25. The Las Vegas' is offense back out there ready to get The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Minshew sets to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Gano the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. His throw incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced. And Minshew with nowhere to go, and they take him to the ground. The Raiders on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 16. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Darnay Holmes. He's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now second and three. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. Here's second and three. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Max Crosby, the one who got in there for the stop. Second and nine. 
Brings up second and nine. They go right back to Singletary. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 49 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. The tackle made at the six-yard line. First and goal at the six-yard line. They run here with Singletary. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for a Giants touchdown. Devin Singletary, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Giants add six to their lead. Extra point try, good by Godot. And the lead is now 24. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Now Minshew. He finds his man complete. That's Bowers. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll make it second down. Out of bounds at the 27 yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and there. He'll drop to throw. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. He's going to let it fly. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. A strong running. <laughs> Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. And they'll come up second and seven. It's a pick up of three. Brings up second and seven. At the 44 yard line. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. Just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter, at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, farewell, Alviter Zane, goodbye from Munich.